Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. It's a night's nightcap. I'm machining an O-ring groove into a flat plate for a lad. Take like a turbo charger, inlet flange. I do some aluminium plasma cutting and a little bit of aluminium welding. I've got an aluminium oil tank to weld up uh, next week, so I thought I'll get a little bit of practice in with the aluminium TIG welding. I'll show a little bit of that. In part two, I'm going to show more of the Hawker steam engine restoration job. That's getting some very good views. It's coming well on its way now. Um, so there's a, another episode of the Hawker steam engine in part two. <laughs> I've shown this metal fold up quite a few times. Here's my friend of mine for basically bending little panels, like repair panels for cars um, when the garage stopped doing them, kind of. When I left there, this came with me. Easy work of things like that. Of course, having the, the cuts in means I'm only bending the three bits. We're going to get you past the 90, so I have to bring it back a little bit, but not much. Right, they look decent, fold the edges up now and can weld it up. I'm just going to put a little saw cut down those edges just so it bends that a little bit easier. Good there should bend on that quite nicely. It actually weld up quite nicely.
just in case you wondered what that aluminium tray was for it just goes in there to catch all the oil drips off the engine because it's a total lost lubrication system and I have got an aluminium oil tank to weld next week and I haven't welded aluminium for quite a while so I thought I'd practice my take just a little bit just to keep my hand in and it's slowly but surely getting better I've shown these jobs before, it's a, an adapter plate for a, a manifold I've got a board of 70mm hole in there and drill and tap four holes around the sides but I've also got to put a, a groove in for an o-ring which is going to be an interesting part of the job I've shown how I set these up before with a, I've got some parallels on the back of the the nail there just stuck on with a magnet and all I do to set them up I just put a centre part mark in and I've picked that up using my centre like that and I'll just nip up each jaw and turn make it so it's nice and square nip up each jaw and turn to all intents and purposes that's going to be centered now we can check it and get it more accurate so if I put a clock gauge on that center Hopefully you can see that clock gauge there. All we do, we turn up, we find the high point, which is at 20, which is opposite that jaw. Give that one a nip. Basically. That's within the thou, so that's certainly good enough for what we've got to do. But before I drill the hole, the big hole, I'm going to have a practice at putting in the ring for the o-ring, the o-ring groove <clears throat> I've got a draw with some sizes on so I've got a scribe I set up on centre height, dead in the centre of the hole and I've zeroed my DRO now the start of the hole needs to be 72mm from the centre so if I come out 35 that'll give me the diameter of the hole 235 is 70 which is there then I need a 2mm gap then I need a 2mm groove so if I come out another 2 that puts us onto the edge of the groove right and then another 1mm it split the difference between the the 2mm groove 38 so that now so you'll scribe a mark on there. Place it 100% flat, but it's not far away. So I can see now where I'm going to be going with my groove. Never mind. Now what I'm going to do is do a practice groove in the face of it just to make sure that uh, I can cut the groove right. Right, so I've ground that tool tips to a mill wide and it's got loads of reef on it so it should be able to put in this o-ring groove I'm just going to touch it off I'm just practicing that in inside from where it used to be we want to go in 1.2 mil that to me looks pretty good
settle for that. I'll do one more cut. Just a spring cut, just to clean it up. Right, so that's a 70mm hole, and I want a 2mm wide groove, 2mm away from the side of that. Just put a groove into the back in. Right, so that's right on the edge, I need to come out 2mm from there. That's two mil, and that puts us right on the centre line that we put in before. So I'm happy with that. We'll go for that. Speed wise, we'll touch it off. Try a two mil drill in there to make sure I have got two mil. If it's a two mil drill, it, it goes in but it's tight. So I'm going to tweak this out just to fan his hair. Again. Touch more, there's not much in it. Hey, that's pretty good at the two mil groove. Now we're doing the doing the top and the four holes. I'm sure I'll be happy with that, I am. Right, the four holes which need to be tapped 8mm, 8 mil, 8 by 105, which is standard 8 mil. Right, we'll just eyeball these centers. That looks good to me. Six point eight to tap and drill for standard eight mil. Through it. Just to keep the turn around and spot in the next one and carry on, we'll get all four down basically.
I've left myself plenty under here so I do and drill it into the table. If you're not sure, just put something underneath there, then you can't damage your machine table. Nothing worse than marks and lathe beds and mill machine beds. 